Contrary to popular belief, liver disease isn't always a product of alcohol abuse. In fact, sugar could be your liver's worst enemy. Now that's a sentence that may have you scratching your head, but stay with me folks. We're about to unravel a health issue that's been lurking in the shadows largely misunderstood by many. Enter Metabolic Associated Fatty Liver Disease, or as it's more commonly known, MAFELD. Often when we think of liver disease, our minds directly jump to alcohol. But here's a reality check, that's not the only culprit. Indeed, alcohol can be detrimental to your liver, but let's not forget our sweet, innocent-looking sugar. While we enjoy our fizzy drinks and sweet treats, our liver might be silently screaming for help. MAFLD is a complex condition, and it's becoming a prevalent health issue globally. It's a silent spectator, often showing no symptoms until it's advanced. But don't let its quiet demeanor fool you. This disease is associated with an unhealthy lifestyle, particularly diets high in sugar and unhealthy fats. Our liver is a trooper, tirelessly performing over 500 functions to keep us running smoothly. But like any trooper, it too needs care and attention. Often we overlook this crucial organ, subjecting it to a barrage of unhealthy lifestyle choices. And that's where Mayfeld steps in, a consequence of our negligence. So, let's set the record straight. Liver disease is not just an alcoholic's burden. It's a widespread issue. And it's high time we shed light on its different facets, particularly Mafold. But remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand this disease, the better equipped we are to prevent it. So, forget what you've heard before. It's time to delve into the truth about Mafold. But, what exactly is this silent killer called MAFLD? MAFLD, or Metabolic Associated Fatty Liver Disease, is a condition that is becoming more prevalent in today's society. But don't let the complex name fool you. Simply put, MAFLD is a disease characterized by excessive fat accumulation in the liver. Now, a little bit of fat in the liver is normal. However, when the fat makes up 5% or more of the liver's weight, it's cause for concern. So, what causes this excessive fat buildup? Well, it's a combination of factors, but the primary culprit is our metabolism. Metabolism is the process by which our body converts what we eat and drink into energy. In the case of MAFLD, the metabolism is disrupted. It's like a well-oiled machine that suddenly starts to malfunction. This disruption can be caused by several factors such as obesity, insulin resistance, and poor diet, to name a few. These factors can lead to an overabundance of fat that the body can't efficiently burn off. As a result, the excess fat gets stored in the liver, leading to MAFLD. Now you might be thinking, okay, so I have a fatty liver, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that MAFLD isn't just a liver problem, it's a systemic issue. Over time, the disease can lead to inflammation and damage to liver cells, a condition known as statohepatitis. Progression of this disease can cause fibrosis or scarring of the liver tissue. In its most severe form, it can lead to cirrhosis, which is severe scarring that impairs the liver's ability to function properly, and it doesn't stop there. MAFLD can also increase the risk of developing liver cancer and cardiovascular disease. It's a silent but serious condition that can have far-reaching effects on your health. The symptoms of MAFLD are often silent, making it a stealthy adversary. Many people with MAFLD experience no symptoms at all. However, as the disease progresses, symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, and abdominal discomfort may surface. As you see, MAFLD isn't just about the liver, it's a complex issue that can affect your entire body. It's a silent saboteur quietly compromising your health while you're none the wiser. But with knowledge and understanding, we can take steps to prevent and manage this disease. So let's keep the conversation going. After all, the more we know, the better we can protect our health. You might be thinking, this couldn't possibly affect me, could it? Well, let's delve into that. Metabolic Associated Fatty Liver Disease, or MAFLD, is a silent predator that can strike anyone. And there are a few factors that can significantly increase your risk. Firstly, diet plays a pivotal role. If your meals are usually a parade of fast food, sugary snacks, and carbonated drinks, you're essentially sending out an engraved invitation to MAFLD. Consuming high amounts of refined sugars and saturated fats can lead to the accumulation of fat in your liver, the first step towards developing this disease. Next, let's talk about obesity. Obesity is like a double-edged sword when it comes to MAFLD. Not only does it increase the risk of developing the disease, but it also intensifies the damage it can cause. An obese person's liver is often already under stress, and adding MAFLD to the mix is like throwing gasoline on a fire. Now on to diabetes, particularly type 2. Studies have shown a strong link between type 2 diabetes and MAFLD. 
The disease often hitchhikes along with insulin resistance, a common feature of diabetes, and finds a comfortable home in the liver. A sedentary lifestyle is another accomplice of MAFLD. Regular physical activity helps to keep your liver healthy by reducing fat accumulation and improving metabolism. But, when you're spending most of your time in a chair, your liver gets less of this protective effect, making it an easier target for MAFLD. And here's the kicker, MAFLD can affect anyone, regardless of age or gender. While it's more common in adults, it's not unheard of in children, especially those with unhealthy diets and low levels of physical activity. And as for gender, both men and women are equally susceptible. So, no one is really safe from MAFLD. It's not just a disease of the old or the young, the male or the female, the fit or the unfit. It's a disease of the modern lifestyle, a disease that can creep up on anyone who's not mindful of their health. Indeed, MAFL doesn't discriminate. It could be lurking in anyone's liver. Now the question on everyone's mind, can we fight back against MAFLD? And the answer is a resounding yes. But, as with any battle, the best defense is a good offense. This means being proactive in our approach to tackling metabolic-associated fatty liver disease, or MAFLD. So, how do we launch this offensive? Well, it's a three-pronged approach, a balanced diet, regular exercise, and regular checkups. It's not about quick fixes or miracle cures, but more about adopting a healthier lifestyle. Let's start with diet. A balanced diet is key to managing MAFLD. This means cutting down on foods high in fats and sugars and increasing our intake of fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. It's not about starving ourselves or going on extreme diets, but making healthier choices one meal at a time. It's about learning to love foods that nourish our bodies and our livers. Next, we have exercise. Regular physical activity is vital in managing MAFLD. This doesn't mean you have to run a marathon or spend hours at the gym. Even simple activities like walking, dancing, or gardening can make a difference. The goal here is to keep moving, keep active, and keep our bodies in top shape. And finally, regular checkups. Regular monitoring of our health is crucial in our fight against Mayfeld. This allows us to keep track of our liver health and catch any potential issues early. So don't skip those annual physicals and make sure to discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. Now, while lifestyle changes are at the forefront of managing Mayfeld, medical treatments also have their place. There are medications available that can help manage the symptoms of MAFLD and slow down its progression. However, these are not magic pills, and they work best when combined with lifestyle changes. And speaking of lifestyle changes, it's important to remember that these are not overnight transformations. It's a journey, a process. It's about making small, sustainable changes that add up over time. It's about being patient with ourselves and celebrating every small victory along the way. So, can we fight back against MAFLD? Absolutely. With the right diet, regular exercise, and regular checkups, we can certainly give it our best shot. And remember, it's not just about fighting a disease, it's about building a healthier, happier life. Remember, there's no magic pill for MAFLD, it's all about adopting a healthier lifestyle. It's high time we take action against MAFLD. Indeed, the crux of our journey into understanding metabolic-associated fatty liver disease pivots on this moment. A moment where we make the conscious choice to prioritize our health to reclaim control from the clutches of MAFLD. Let's face it, the world we live in today is a fast-paced whirlwind of convenience. Unhealthy food choices are often just a click away, and the allure of a sedentary lifestyle is ever-present. But we must remember that each day presents us with a fresh opportunity to make healthier choices. Think about it. What if we could rewrite our health narrative? What if, instead of being passive recipients of our health destiny, we became active participants in shaping it? Imagine a life where you've kicked unhealthy habits to the curb. A life where you're fueling your body with nutritious meals, keeping your body active and managing your stress effectively. Picture yourself in this healthier, happier version of your life. The benefits are far-reaching. Lower risk of MAFLD, sure, but also a decreased risk of other metabolic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Not to mention the ripple effect on your mental health, your energy levels, and your overall quality of life. Yes, the journey to a healthier lifestyle is a marathon, not a sprint. There will be obstacles and there will be setbacks. But remember, every step you take towards healthier living is a step away from MAFLD. We're not just talking about adding years to your life here, but adding life to your years. That's the power of taking control of your health. The reality is, there are no magic pills or quick fixes when it comes to preventing MAFLD. 
It's about the choices we make each day, the small changes that over time add up to big results. So, let's start today. Let's make the commitment to prioritize our health, to stand up against Mayfell D. Your health is in your hands. Don't let Mayfell D take control. Before we wrap up, remember this. Metabolic Associated Fatty Liver Disease, or MAFLD, is a condition that affects millions globally and yet, it often goes unnoticed until it's too late. The harsh reality is that many of us are at risk, but the good news is, it's not a lost cause. Taking proactive measures can significantly reduce the risk and even reverse the condition. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and keeping a healthy weight are your best defense against this disease. We've delved into what MFLD is, who's at risk, and how you can protect yourself. It's crucial to remember that a healthier tomorrow starts today. It's in your hands to take control of your health to ensure a brighter, healthier future. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more health insights. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health.